Hey there gamers, today we're doing an outdated instructional video on how to install Luke FZ's FSR2, FSR3 mod into Ratchet & Clank A Rift Apart on the Lenovo Legion Go. So firstly I'm going to just go into the game with the mod disabled and run around and just see what sort of frames uh, we're getting and then I will d do uh, live installation of the mod and then we'll go back into the game and see if there's an uplift. So firstly let's get the frame monitor on. Let's just go straight into the game. So I'm not really going to play, I'm just going to run around and we're getting quite a low frame frame rate. Anywhere between 25 to 38. Up to 47 in this restricted view. And drops down to 31 around here. So let's just check the settings to see what we've got. Okay, so here we've got zero upscale method, so it's not a fair comparison. So let's set it to AMD FSR 2.2 um, and apply that. Okay. So we're around 38 to 45 frames per second again. Rising to 50 as we come up to this restricted view again. Okay. I will just double check those settings. Yep. So let's come out of the game and install the mod. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is log into your account um, with Luke FZ's Patreon, although it's, it's now a, a direct website that you go to. And you're going to want to download the FSR2, FSR3 SDK. Previously, I was saying to download, I think, FSR2.1. Um, that doesn't seem to work, so it's very important that you get the FSR2 FSR3 SDK file and the FSR2 FSR3 common. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate to Ratchet and Clank. I'll do that. So we go to the C drive, program files x86. Then we're going to scroll down and find Steam. And then scroll down to Steam Apps, Common, and then scroll down to find Ratchet and Clank, A Rift Apart. And this is the location we're going to copy the files into, so let's minimise this. And get rid of that. And we're going to first off open the SDK. And I'm just going to tick the box here and copy this file. And we'll come down here, go to Ratchet and Clank, right click and paste. We'll minimize again. And we'll open the common files. So for this game, we're not interested in the optional NVNGX directory. We'll just highlight these three files, copy them, and we can close this window as we're finished with it. 
and go into Ratchet and Clank directory again, right click, paste those files. So what we're going to want to do is open this default FSR2, FSR3 config file. And we're going to want to take, change two values in here. The first one is fake NVIDIA GPU. So if I go here, pop up the keyboard and change this to true. Spell true correctly. And then the next variable we're going to change is this one AMD Unreal Engine DLSS workaround and we'll change this from false to true. So we'll just pop up the keyboard again true and we will save and we can close these windows we're done. So we're next going to go back into Steam and navigate to Ratchet and & Clank and this uh, settings cog, we're going to click on that and go to properties and you want to add this to your launch options. So it is hyphen force all in lowercase and then reflex with the R in uppercase markers with the M in uppercase. And I will paste that in the description for this video, uh, just so that it's, it's clear what it should be. And this should allow us to now play Ratchet and Clank. So let's start. So this is good. We get this screen where it's, uh, this is the mod hooking into the game. And if we click play, it should load up successfully. Previously, when I was trying this with the FSR 2.1, it would fall over here with a, you know, and throw an error and ask if we wanted to report it. Let me just um, go into the game and we'll change the settings. We'll go to display and graphics. And we've already got AMD FSR2 selected and quality, but we're going to want to, as you can see, we're able to change this value from off to on. Okay. I should be able to change that volume. Oh, there we are. I've managed to do it. And then we'll apply that with left trigger, confirm. And just so we can see the frames per second, I will pop up the performance overlay. Okay, so we can see we've got a significant uplift in files. We've got a bit of ghost, uh, HUD ghosting, but it's not horrendous. We do have a variance in frames per second, but still it's higher than it was um, with just plain old FSR2. And that's it, that's how to install Luke's uh, mod into Ratchet and Clank. Hopefully you, uh, those who were struggling will be able to do this now. Um, please leave a, a comment if you managed to successfully install the mod. I'd appreciate that. Thank you for watching.